Hi everyone, my name is Molly Stewart and today we're here to shoot photo and video for the launch of my new Q Stroker. Uh, what excites me most about being a field star is the fact that this is going to open up a whole new level of sexy interaction for me and my fans. One would have to be coffee. How do I even start my day without it? Two would be adventure. I love trying new things, exploring new places and people. Three, I would have to say chocolate. Passion to me means finding something that you truly love and something that brings you happiness. Something that you would do if you weren't getting paid for it, if nobody else saw it, and it was just you and your passion. Just getting really, really stoned and watching Gossip Girl. I find empowerment through my job. I love being nude in front of the camera, in front of other people. I love being nude in a public forum, and I think that there is something very powerful about owning your sexuality and being happy with the person that you are and the person that you're presenting to the world. Something that inspires me is film. I love watching film, diving into it, talking all the way through a movie, and just using different cues from film um, to allow me to create better content, um, not only for my fans, but just for myself with things like cosplay um, and so many other things that span just pornography. So I would say that film and photography are definitely huge inspirations for me with what I do in my life. Uh, one of my favorite things to do when I actually get free time is to pull out a nice fat J, sit on my couch with my dogs, and play video games for the entire day. Currently a little bit wrapped up in Borderlands. <laughs> the most important skill that you can have in bed is communication. You have to let people know what turns you on. You have to let people know how to make you, you know, finish. You have to be expressive. You have to give it as good as you get. You can't just lay there and expect someone to read your mind. So what my fans, I suppose, find unique is my sense of humor, which is very weird. Something that gets commented on all the time. I'm not normal and very socially awkward, which is why this is very strange for me. Um, also something that makes me unique is I have a mole on my asshole which is pretty cool. We call it uh, the butthole mole and nobody wants me to get it removed. When the lockdown first started, I actually dove back into one of my favorite hobbies, which is art. Um, I got really into charcoal drawings, um, which was a medium I never really worked with before. And I also went, you know, balls to the wall on painting. So it was uh, what I spent quite a bit of money on um, for a hobby that I didn't fully understand at the time of the pandemic. But uh, during that, it definitely kept me busy and it kept me creating and it put me in a much happier headspace than just sitting home staring at a wall. My favorite sex position while filming is me in the more dominant role, wearing a strap on. I just like to feel the power of having a dick and actually bringing a woman pleasure with it. My webcamming has shifted quite a lot since uh, I first started um, in this industry as a webcam model. I have definitely shifted more towards the content creator side of things. Um, I like that I can flex my creativity a lot more and that I don't basically have to spend 10 to 12 hours on cam every day. When you have that kind of drive and dedication, and that's the schedule you're setting, that's great. But for me, where I like to flex my creativity the most is by making content, whether that's photos or videos 
photos and even stuff that's not necessarily naughty and just for entertainment purposes. So now when I approach camming, I like to definitely cam and do live streams uh, on my subscription platforms. Uh, it's been a really great way to get to know my fans more and to have them get to see a different side of me that perhaps they don't get to in videos, as especially that's where a lot of my new fans have come from, the, the porn industry and video content creation in general. So something that I would like to try in porn for the first time would be something very difficult to pin down. I feel like I've set out to do a lot of things in this industry and I've done a majority of them. Uh, I never really know what's coming next, so while I have ideas rattling around in my head, I'm not necessarily sure what it is that I want to commit to because I definitely want to make sure that the content that I put out is stuff that I'm happy with because I know if I'm happy with it, then my fans will be as well. Porn is a fantasy. Um, I think that there's a lot of views of pornography that people have based on the content that we put out. And I know that this is also something I've talked about to my fans. It's something I've discussed on my podcast. Porn isn't real. There are so many stops. There are so many positions that are completely uncomfortable and don't ever do them. Like when on earth are you going to get into a situation where a girl tells you, pile drive me? No it's probably not going to happen. And if it does, it's because they were watching porn too and they think that's what you want. So I would say just go in knowing that it is a fantasy and be able to separate reality from that so that you can actually uh, attune yourself to a real life partner when one is presented to you. What I would tell to someone who is thinking about starting porn and thinking, oh, this is a way that I can make some fast money and have good sex. It can be, but you should also really research, you should really plan, and you should look at all of the things that have currently and very recently happened in this industry. Things like certain platforms potentially becoming unavailable to us um, and realize that no matter where you start out with this job, whether it's camming, whether it's straight into shooting professional pornography, whether it's just content creation, everyone will know at some point or another. Everyone will know. Your family will know. Your friends will know. Your coworkers will, will know. And some of them will love you for it. Some of them will be indifferent. You're gonna have haters. You're going to be part of an ostracized group of people. Now, if you don't care what the world thinks of you, and you know how to run a business and you want to really make this a career, go for it. Just make sure that you do your research and back up all your content. Um, let's see, in 20 years from now, I will be just about 50. But with the way the technology is advancing, I'm probably going to still be able to talk to you looking like I do now or even better because, you know, Got all that, all that new AI technology type stuff coming out. I might just never age and you'll never know what I look like old. And I think that'll be super cool. And I'm super here for it. Holy fucking weird. I think that it's really exciting because I have fans from all over the world and I think it's going to be a really fun interactive experience. I think that it will make sexting a whole lot more interesting. I think it'll make uh, for better video content as well since we can kind of sync that all up together and I think it's going to be a really fun and new sexy experience for all of my fans. Thank you to everyone who is going to participate in the launch of my new stroker. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, I can't wait to see it myself. I'm very excited uh, for what is coming and the new content that we can share in together.